Akos just got a question here about in-place upgrades. So after an in-place upgrade task sequence, how would you speed up installing the required updates? Process takes almost an hour detecting, downloading, and installing the latest patches. Um, any scripting ideas or possibilities around that? I have, a, I have an idea, and that is don't do it. Make sure that the image that you actually deploy is updated. What's the point of downloading a WIM file that has old updates in it and then spend an hour downloading updates after the fact? Just make sure that the source is updated and you're good. And you can reduce that deployment with an hour. Uh, if you absolutely must speed up performance, uh, Pretty much the only thing you can do is is making sure that it, it runs in high performance. Yeah, those are two things that I've been reviewing recently as well. With some sequences, are you know folks that that still have two, three cycles of Windows update checks on them. They're they're literally at this point just adding time. Um, they're inconsistent, uh, of course, and so I'm. Just to just to kind of add on to what Johanna said, or, or uh, you know, solidify that, um, get rid of those steps, and maybe a thirty-minute task sequence is dropping down to twenty or even fifteen minutes, or, or similarly, if it's taking an hour normally, maybe you're now forty minutes. Um, <clears throat> and high performance, also another thing that I've been checking uh, this week, I've actually been dealing with that a little bit. Uh, Arcos actually had a great comment, though I think it's, it's worth mentioning that if you do uh -huh. later down in the process start to install language packs, mm -hmm. well, it has to be patched again after applying those because they are not up to date like Windows is. Mm -hmm. And then you can, if you if you need to have the sequence to do that, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's going to take time. Uh, there is little you can do to to reduce that other than the usual stuff with getting the packages down quickly and having good, you know, peering on content, et cetera, so it doesn't have to download them from a remote distribution point if you're using Config Manager, which it was the question here. Because the quicker that content comes down, the quicker they can start patching. Uh, problem with Windows 11 updates today is those packages are, they're quite large. If they need to come down to the client, Yeah, fun stuff, always. It seems like, um, you know, I've never had the uh, opportunity to work with language packs in Windows. And it seems oh, like any time it's come up, it, it's, it adds another, a whole layer of complexity to the process. I, I can help with that. It's going to be my mission to teach you Swedish, and then you can <laughs> use the Swedish language pack on your device. All right. Hey, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 